Finding printer margins. So this is a method of problem solving I like to share with students because we have multiple printers, but all printers are different. The printer margin on one might be different from the other. So this is finding printer margins. And this is how you could do it. So let's take a single page and let's lower it to inches. And then we zero out the margins because it's an unknown factor. I don't know what that is. We know the sheet to be the sheet of paper to be 8.5 by 11. So that's my known number. And let's hit OK. All right, let's take a shape. Drag it out, right click, and go to its properties. Once the properties are pulled up, let's go to colors. We'll take black and we fill it with 10%. So this is going corner to corner. Just about. Let's uh, go this way too so we can get that. Later you'll find the true margins are only in one direction, but I'll, I'll reveal that in the next class. So what we could do here is go File Print. So do that. Go File Print and come back. Pause the video right now. Print this. Ask what printer you use if you have to, where the printer is, then come back. All right, you're back. That's so weird. So you found the number. What is the number? Well, it could be a quarter of an inch. It could be a half inch. But now, now that you know the number, you can go to Document Setup and plug that number here because that's the furthest extreme of what you have to work with. And the furthest extreme in the all the directions. So if you know that, now when you go to lay out your page, you can always fold the margins in more. But at least now I know the target area that I'm working with. So that's how I think, that's how I work. And technically, you know, I'll do this for any machine that I jump onto. Any printer. Before I even design the product, I look at the imposition. How is it going to fit out? I'll build a template for that imposition, but I first need to know the margins. And that's how you find it. Hope you enjoy. Let's move on to the next video.